Hey, before we get cooking here, I want to talk about the presenting sponsor of this show. You guys know that's Miller Lite. Uh, no matter what team you're rooting for, there's one thing we can all agree on. Football season brings us together. A connection like that deserves to be celebrated with a light beer that's just as great. And at just 96 calories a can, Miller Lite is the only light beer you'll want to celebrate with all season long. It's St. Nick's Day. It's a perfect gift for St. Nick's Day. Leave those. Leave that 12-pack of Miller right by your kid. The kid's shoes, given that they're 21 or older. Can't do that. Yeah, Why? You gotta, yeah. You're still a kid. You can still be called a kid if you're 21. Yeah, technically. Like, I get, you know, if you're 21, obviously. Yeah, 21, hang those cans on the tree. It makes a great ornament. Yeah, yes. It's the only thing. That's what we've been doing at my dad and I's house nice. for they actually like decades look, They now. look nice. Yeah, it yeah. does. You, yeah. Put the, you get the bottle and you put it upside down on for the star. Ooh, that's mm. a unique yeah. move. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. we want to make uh, Miller grams a thing, like the candy grams for the kids who yeah. never got one in school. Be nice. There's a way to do that because you can make it Miller time all season long when you get Miller Lite delivered right to your door. Visit MillerLite.com slash Redline. And... Uh, you can find it there or pretty much anywhere that they sell beer. Just make sure you celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 96 calories, 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. On that note, all right, bang, bang. Welcome to the Mid Show presented by Miller Lite. Full squad here. Um, sitting next to a champion, a banana bread baking champion. We talked about it on Tuesday's episode, if you listened or watched. And uh, we were talking about doing the competition. And Donnie, you did it on the yak, and it sounds like it went well for you. Congratulations! Thank you, Ed. He's like a little ratatouille over there. Mm-hmm. You're like you're you're happy about it. I I no, he doesn't I'm get not, happy. I don't get happy. <laughs> I'm. I would have been happy if it would have been a clean sweep. I would have never shut the fuck up about it. But we're in the trust tree in this room, all right? Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Like we're not gonna. No, just you, us, and the audience. Yeah. Okay. I felt bad that. They picked mine over Don. You emasculated him mm-hmm. in his own job. It'd be like him showing bit. up and throwing ninety two. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I would have been fucking pissed. <laughs> yeah, and I would have been hitting the weight room and yeah. like doing arm conditioning. There's nothing workouts. he can do though. He already went to France for three months. Go for six. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't like that. Chef Donnie's a nice. I man. know. I'm joking with him. Um, wow. He's gonna be cooking late I, night, I, practicing. I, I, yeah, in the dude. kitchen lights it's off. Jerry after bread. dark I'll, shuts down. He's just still in there whisking eggs. Yeah, we're making a I'll say this. As soon as he started doing all the extra foo foo stuff, I thought I might have had a chance. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what banana bread is though. Mm-hmm. It's just like it's it's not supposed to be like some like beautiful. I, I have a thought about that with food in general. And it goes back to that place that we went to where you thought it was the best meal you ever had. I uh, didn't say that. I said it was awesome. But you thought the food was awesome. I loved it. Yeah, I loved it. But I thought it was more like it didn't necessarily taste great. It was cool. I thought it But I think people great. they I think people try too much. Just the give only, me the meat just perfect the meat and potatoes. You don't have to Definitely, yeah. Totally. Know. I'd rather go to a place that just like This is what we do. Simp- yes. Yeah. And not just like the Yeah, foo-foo. you get like the one page menu, it's like right. here's our three cuts of steak, tell us how you want them. Yeah. Right. I get but yeah. Like, yeah. Michelin star my asshole. You yeah. Know? Basically. I, I that's how it. I feel. And I you're only ever getting like a little a morsel. That that's what I didn't like about that place yeah. is like you take one bite of food and you're like, holy shit, this is incredible. However, you're done with it. Wait it's 10 minutes word. for the next yeah. course. Yeah. Morsel. Morsel. Good word. Yeah. Didn't see that coming. I got a, I got a lexicon. Not like, yeah, I feel like you haven't dropped Morsel. a big word on us in a Morsel. while. Morsel's not a big word. No, nah, but it's, it's not heavily used. I would say. Mm-mm. You've never it's said that. It's not a top 1,000 word, mm-hmm. I don't think. Can we, is that, do they rank those? It's not a top 5,000 word. Probably not, actually. There's a lot of words. You haven't dropped a big word on us in a while. What yeah. word would you like me to drop on you? Uh, they just, just come got, to you, though. It's got to be casual. Yeah. yeah. Confabulating? That was great. <laughs> Confabulating. <laughs> so you uh, make up memories in your own. Yeah. You misremember memories. Yeah. Who's the biggest confabulator there is, Dave? Is it the confabulator's fault if their memory is betraying them? The questions you gotta ask. Scroll yeah. down to uh, scroll down to M. Danny. Come yeah, on. there ain't a damn no, chance that damn. Morsel. I got Morsel. Thing. I got a list. I'll I'll go all the way down to. It hasn't been order, not alphabetical. Nope. nope. Uh, it would be a little, nope. So what the the one thousandth most commonly used word in the English language is claim. Hmm. 
So like I, I claim that, that more Salami more is top twenty five thousand. Yeah. it might not be actually. Stuff is nine ninety nine. Improve is nine ninety eight. Instead is nine ninety seven. Now it's like how many words do you know? Well, how many words are there? Stuff. How many words are there? Yeah. In the English language, all let's put an over under on this. Let's all guess. Um, I'll say four hundred fifty thousand. Uh, is every word in the it, dictionary? So on that list, it had like A as a word. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a word. So yeah. no proper nouns. That, what that, do you that, mean? No so, proper like, nouns. No, like, I would names not count those. of places. No, or anything. names don't count. Yeah, yeah, just no. so simple like, words. Yeah, but I like think, I think city you're... counts, Mister right, counts. Right. Yeah, go a quarter of a mil. I think it's got to be. I'm going seven hundred thou. Okay, Lance. So, I looked it up. I, I don't. Know. I haven't okay. guessed yet. All right, we'll guess. Dun, 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 dun. This guy's I'll say thinking f- like he knows four hundred thousand. I don't know. I'm trying. To, I'm, th- I'm picturing the dictionary. So and I how got a, thick. It is. I got a quarter. You got four fifty. I think I said right. You said four. Yeah. Uh, probably not. But you got four fifty now, and you got <laughs> seven hundred. Lance, <laughs> um, drum roll, please. The Oxford English Dictionary estimates that there are one hundred and seventy thousand words in current use, with an additional forty-seven thousand obsolete words. So what, what's considered dun, 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 obsolete, dun, dun, dun. like Latin? Give my praise first. I won. Day. Congra- Damn congratulations, Thanks. Edward. Um, what's obsolete? Yeah, what is yeah. like a Latin? 47,000 obsolete English language words is fucking crazy. Like floppy disk is not That's a still, but <laughs> <laughs> those are two words that still I know. exist. I know. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I kind of still obsolete. exist, doesn't it? CD-ROM. Yeah, CD-ROM is obsolete. Webster's. But you also have new ones. Riz, I saw that was like the Urban Dictionary they, I, word I of the year. I actually, uh, I don't like when they try to make slang words. Selfie, like, that's just the selfie dictionary. Selfie's a new word. But but selfie's it, very a word. much a word. Selfie's different than I words. remember it was a big it's deal when they slang. added meh to the dictionary. Yeah, but I don't Simpsons. think they, they shouldn't. That's a word, all right, word. dude. Adapt. It's, yeah. it's a sound. Nah. Meh. But you could say that about current Riz, words. Riz is a word. Yeah, but like yeah. that that won't be a word that's used in like a year. I the don't only, know that the only argument is that you could have is because it comes from charisma and that's the word. And you could argue that Riz could be an abbreviation. It's the root word? Yeah. I didn't know that. You can learn a lot from me. You, love you think you could teach him Did some you know Riz? That? What? Riz was from charisma? Yeah, I knew that. I, I had to look it up like what? a while ago. Damn, dude, this is an old room. This, it, that's what it is. It's this, that's an old thing. That's an old. Well, I mean, I knew that. I, I I can't stand that word. I will never use it unless I'm like making a flippant joke. Why? Because of baby Gronk? It's <laughs> it's it's not. I'm too old for it. I can't use that word. It's for the youths. It's I, not I, even I really a good think that's word. Like an, it's it's so overused. That it just gives me the like heebie-jeebies. No, but I don't. It, I don't like that word. Just it, like the, the the Utes would be would would get heebie-jeebies from you saying heebie-jeebies. Do you want yeah. me to give you some uh, words that were taken out? Yeah. A yonker. 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 Y o u n k e r. I don't know what that is. It means youngster. Uh, brabble to argue stubbornly about trifles. Oh, I like that. We brabble a lot on this show. <laughs> yeah, we do actually, because we trifle a lot. Yeah. And we are your trifling our trifles. little hoe. He's a trifling hoe. <laughs> Damn, you're a trifling little hoe. How did it get to the point Aero- though? Aerodrome, aerodrome. I still use that one. A wow. location which an aircraft flight operations take off. British term has since been replaced by airport. Yeah. So that that one makes sense. It's a lot of British words. I'll, bra- words I'll brabble all day long though. But what happened? Brabble did, Boys. Did that it, should be the new podcast name, Brabble Boys. Are the, it, yeah, are these like uh, endangered species that went no, extinct? Like we just don't use them anymore? Why? What yeah, makes them exactly. extinct? Alienism. That's a word still. That's, the study yeah. and treatment of mental illness. This term has been phased out due to its insensitivity and inaccuracy in reference to those with mental health issues. Oh, okay. See, I've been living my whole life thinking that alienism was just like you hate aliens. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hate aliens. That's Martianism. That's that, that would the, be an alien from Mars. Yeah, we are not the same. Alienism the doesn't. Just, it's the whole universe. Yeah, it's a whole everybody Anybody that's, that's not, not like me. Yeah. All right. aliens. Yeah. Do you like that Lil Wayne song? Which Lil Wayne song? We're not the same. I am a Martian. Greetings from Planet Weezy. You like that? Is that in your top pantheon no. of Weezy songs? Uh uh-uh. no, no, not, not even close. Same, I am a, I, not even top five. I know the line. I can't think of the song it's from though. Oh, dude. I mean, I don't know either. But it's we are not the same. Yeah. We're the Martian song. That's yeah. the same as I'm rare, like Mister Clean with hair. 
So that was a big, uh, you put you that as your away now? message. Uh, I could give you um, probably my top three Lil Wayne songs. Okay. Uh, Lollipop we, and what else? Oh, uh, that's fucked up. It's not Lollipop. <laughs> it's uh, We Be Steady Mobbins in there. Well, that's a good song. <laughs> Why is that funny? Why is that funny? It's Eddie just kind of like, no, We Be Steady Mobbins. That's a great oh, song. I fucking hate Lil Wayne, if I'm being what? honest. Get oh, the my fuck God. Out he was here. so fucking good. Nah, that, nah, the shit. Carter 3 was like the last rap album I looked forward to dropping. I like was counting down you the You didn't days. drop it. <laughs> What is it? Is there conspiracy? No, I mean, I just don't like. I just never got it. I don't understand it. I don't like the whole skater look. I I never liked. You're talking about two eras of Wayne. You can I can get the argument for skater Wayne, but you're gonna fucking hate Weezy F like that. Weezy F F is for fuck chief. Go on, Eddie. (laughs) The Uh, I'd say uh, right above it. (laughs) Yeah, that's Mm -hmm. that's that's top three, and I'm having trouble with the third. I like my my under the those are good mine. Would probably start with you ain't no, you ain't no. no. We gotta go, Eddie. You were I. I thought you would have. We're always going a million. There. Gotta get back to the money. Millie sniffing that third spot. <laughs> if I'm being honest, <laughs> sniffing that I'm third. Me, I'm me. I'm I mean, Ice Cube told me to my face that he thinks Wayne's the greatest rapper of all time. And, and here we have Chief saying, and he kind nah. of invented rap. Yeah, you fucking Chief. You was just we just lost so many millennials. We did. Yeah, uh, that's where Danny Danny comes. Oh, from. I, I like Hustlers music. Okay, it got overtaken by the the Office remix when they put the it did the but Office theme song in the background. Yeah, which made it even better. They, I mean, the White Sox would regularly play "Always Strapped." Was it their someone's walk up song? Uh, no, it was more than that. It was just even a decade after it came out, you'd just hear it at the White Sox stadium. I heard it last time we went to a game. Always strapped when well, I hit the club. Well, you know, Dave, I remember when I first met Dave, uh, 2013, was on a crusade. He wanted the uh, Feel Me Flow by Naughty by Nature. He yeah. wanted, he no, was that like, was that way was later. after that. That was like 2017. Yeah. Are you confabulating? Yeah, I think he might be confabulating. No, confabulating is uh, what? I, no. I, I, listen, fellas, if I pull up an old episode of Chicago Sports Roundup from 2014, I think there's an opportunity I could find you saying that. You might be able to. I remember but like, this vividly. He wanted them to play this. He's already got he it. He wanted camera them to be the home run song. Yes. He no, had right. I remember, but I, it wasn't 24. I don't know if I had any connections with the White Sox that no, 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 yeah. I, no, you, you're like, I don't know. You text like kinda, a guy in ticket sales or something. Oh, maybe. You know? Um I thought it was later than that. I I do think like there was a time, and we like if we can get into like the Chicago sports if we want. But there was a time when I thought the White Sox were going to be a cool place to like be a player and like a team to root for. <laughs> yeah, like you, they've had this whole vision. But like, like, I could see the it way it almost was realized at the blackout game though. Like you saw that stadium, you saw how rabid everyone was. You saw like how like Portnoy himself. He doesn't give a fuck. He said it like that's the craziest fucking base. It almost happened, I, and they fucked it up. I would tell you, if I thought it was a bad idea, I think that song's good. And I think it would play well. Like people it, would right, love it. Yeah, right. I think that's a good idea. But like, I, I remember, I think it was Carl at the time. He's like, dude, they're playing fucking Thunderstruck, and that's all they're doing. They like, got rid of that they're too. Just though. Such a Thunderstruck crowd. They got know? rid of that too. But though. I, I, and I think, the Pirates of the Caribbean theme, so they got rid of it all. They don't do any of this shit yeah. anymore. They fuck up everything. They Playing elevator music. They have no there. fun. They don't. They, they don't have no any fun. fun. I have no fun. No yeah. one has fun here. No, no one has fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was your that was your <laughs> that was your vision for guaranteed rate field. I remember yeah, at one point. Someone hits a home run, they do the light show, and the entire stadium is fucking going crazy. Feel me flow. I I, I even because there was a point when I remember it was I think it was I know it was Giolito was one of them. Uh, Giolito, I want to say like Nicky Delmonico, a couple other guys. They're like our in game. DJ doesn't know what he's it's like he said this in interviews and it's like been clipped and stuff like they don't know what they're doing I and after I got to know the White Sox a little bit I re, I'm like hey like fun times are coming like make it funner I got a guy talking about Dante like be an actual like let him do his thing like it will work I promise you he's done it for years he knows everybody just trust me and like they, they don't care about that stuff yeah we see the clip uh, like the one thing that we have all said, I have said, including you guys, that the White Sox don't fuck up is the what? The onions. The food. Yeah. yeah. The food at Sox Park. And oh. we just had that clip, Jason Benetti, 
like once a week or so the someone from the con like the the concessions manager would come up to the booth with Benetti and Stone and bring out whatever they're unveiling that week or month mm -hmm. or whatever uh like loaded nacho helmet yeah. hat shit like that and he would eat on air and you know he'd be chewing with his mouth open and shit but it was like people fucking enjoyed part of the, it yeah, the, it was part yeah. Of, it was part of the thing yeah. like of course he's eating mm -hmm. with was told not to do that anymore like what are you talking about like you're I, worried about that shit yeah no, you're worried about that shit like uh, he's marketing the only thing you guys do well that's wrong. Like that's, he's putting this in front of the only thing you guys do well. Mm -hmm. He is putting this in front of your entire audience, and you guys tell him to stop. He, it's, a, it's a commercial for going to the ballpark. That's wrong, but I thought you were going to say that like Sox Park was about to like change all their food, and I was going to say, Let's Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if they cut back on all that because you know no one's going to be no, there next if year. They, listen, if they do that, I'll hop in the Ultimate with you, and we're going to Jerry's. <laughs> like That's <laughs> not on my watch. <laughs> Thank you, Ed. Not on my watch. Thank you. No Thank way. You, Ed. You're not yeah. getting rid of that shit. No way. <sighs> I, I mean, that's the last thing. That's all he they might have. as well. No, don't even put it in his head. He's down in Nashville. I, I he's, really he's do. Yeah, like coming this, up with flaming hot. I got. I'm doing yak hot challenges, fucking banana bread challenges, all sorts of challenges today. And I get a text from Nate. Are you going to blog uh, the White Sox moving to Nashville? First of all, I've already blogged it a couple times. Second of all. Jerry meeting with I mean Jerry Reinsdorf's 88 years old he turns 89 in let's see let's do the math 30 days has September 31 plus 26 57 what's today the 6 Zach Alfnack's meme 25 <laughs> I don't know he 70 days That's or so he too. turns 89 years old He's not moving the fucking team. It's not going to be up to him to move the team because by the time the team would move, it'd be. He's got vampire blood, dude. Yeah, he might. He's going to live forever. He's a tortoise. Dave, but I don't. It's that's such a non. Everybody in baseball is down in in Nashville right now. Maybe it was just honky tonking down there. Yeah, who knows? Do you think he honky tonks? Yeah, I bet you he does. I bet you he honky tonks with a nice fat cigar and a nice fat glass of whiskey. I bet I'd, you he does. I'd love to have a cigar with Jerry. Yeah, <laughs> I actually would too. <laughs> yeah. I don't be awesome. Mm. I don't I, think you could contain yourself. You'd I put could, it out on his head. I wouldn't be no. Like if I had an honest sit down with Jerry Reinsdorf, I wouldn't be a dick or anything. It's I'd be like, be hey, like Michael Scott and Toby, why are you the way you are? <laughs> someone, someone said this to me a while back, and I thought it made a lot of sense. And it was right after Reinsdorf gave his post Han and Kenny Williams firing presser. Saying that the he he like I'm paraphrasing he talked to a bunch of fans and they were upset but they like loved the team they lo like basically saying like Sox fans are happy right now and but when you think of it like the only Sox fans here talking to he's not talking to like me or Beef Loaf or any the people of the, who like, are pissed he's talking to all these you know they're sitting in suites yeah they yeah have, yeah they're like oh yeah kissing his ass of course yeah he's not pulling up the Kellys. In Canaryville and sitting down and being like, "Hey, what do you guys he think of the team?" He ain't doing that. He ain't flying to Japan to meet with free agents. He ain't <laughs> talking like Jerry Reinsdorf is doing Jerry Reinsdorf things, and he will do Jerry Reinsdorf things until well he meets his maker. All right. So where do you want to start here? Do you want to start about the winter meetings? Do you want to start about the Benetti interview? Do you want to start with the Nashville move? We don't have to discuss the Nashville move because that's not happening. I the Major League Baseball would never, ever, ever in a million years let the White Sox move to Nashville. Well, that, it's 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 fun to talk about and as a just a I like at this point. I shouldn't say I like, but the analogy I've used over and over again over the years is they need their nose rubbed in the shit like the dog that took the dump on the carpet. This just is another form of that. So like when I say one owners meeting Yashimoto or however you pronounce his name in Japan the Yamamoto. others meeting with uh mayor of Nashville of course I'm gonna bitch about it yeah it is never in a million years gonna happen that's an expansion city day in and day out if I had a dumb thought would would he would Jerry be like a representative of Major League Baseball like the owners meeting yeah, with Nashville he, is that, that possible because he's make, like the elder states but right, like for he an expansion is the elder. or something else yes that would make actually that's a great call okay perhaps all right Perhaps I I have no idea though. I don't care if Jerry Ryan starts meeting with the mayor of Montreal, Vegas, Nashville, any mm -hmm. Portland, any other. It doesn't. It means zero to me. Yeah. It means zero to me. So I think that's just something that should be nipped in the butt. However, um, they're going to lose a hundred games next year, and they're not going to even if <laughs> even with this Eric Fred guy. 
Freedy. <laughs> yeah, even with him. <laughs> But the funny thing is, they after kicked the, off the uh, hot stove season, the, White Sox r- racing to get that signing Through the actual again. rebuild, they never had the first pick. The highest, highest they picked was third, and they drafted uh, Vaughn with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, I, I, Radon was also third, I'm pretty sure. I think um, he was. And then Madrigal was fourth. Madrigal was fourth. Anderson was 10th or 11th, whatever. But they never picked first. Who was, how, the backflip guy was 8th, I think. Courtney Hawkins. <laughs> uh, I want to say it was 10th. But, yeah, they never, okay. they haven't picked first um, ever, as far as I can recall, not over the course of my lifetime. And I think there's an excellent, excellent shot that they have the worst record in baseball this year. They won't be able to pick higher than uh, what it's. So the lottery's first six teams are in the lottery if you're a large market market team which the Sox are considered a large market team you're not allowed to be in a lottery two years in a row so they're how many teams i'm sorry how many teams in the lottery six okay six teams right. in the lottery so they pick that the white Sox get fifth um for the 2024 draft even if they have the worst record next year which there is a very legitimate shot at that happening they won't be able to pick higher than seventh uh, in 2025 because of the new cba so even like they're there's losing. There's no benefit to being bad. There's no benefit, which it should be. It absolutely should be good. You good should be on, allowed to be in the lottery, for sure. If I, you're one of the worst teams, like you should be in the lottery. Fucking win more baseball games. Fuck off. <laughs> you should be looking for the thirty, the thirtieth pick, not the fucking. I I agree. But yeah, like I, that, I know what you're saying, yeah. but yeah, fuck fuck them. Then you don't like it. Fine, go yeah. and pick thirtieth instead of fucking seventh. You they got to give it to franchises like Cleveland who deserve it. Good for Cleveland. Good. I'm glad that that like the Cleveland Guardians picking first. I hope they get a franchise player that just shoves it down the fucking Ryan's throat the entirety of his stay in Cleveland until someone else plucks him off because they won't be able to afford. Him. Well, that's what that's what I meant. How that's all Cleveland does. Yeah, they just dump their stars. Um, but they survive and adapt and persist. And White Sox don't do any of that. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, however. I watched that draft. I watched the lottery. Mm-hmm. I mean, baseball as a whole just needs to it figure stinks. that out. It stinks. I didn't watch it. Dude, it I was, didn't watch it. What it, did I need to watch? It was tough to watch. And I'm usually like, shit like that doesn't matter. I don't care. But, and, and maybe it's, listen. Do you watch the NBA and NHL lotteries? I watched, obviously, the NHL last yeah, year. Yeah. And I think I've watched previous years because Lafreniere was a big prospect. Okay. And, sure. And obviously, watch NBA. NBA is the most. And. When he got guys like Wami Niyama, when he got yeah. prospects, you know. So I guess it's a little different. Maybe that's what baseball's problem is. But there's no tension around it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's no, like, they just no had Brad up. Paisley, like, oh, mm-hmm. that, oh, I had the C backwards of the Cleveland. It is a joke. It's, it's, it they have no fucking clue what they're doing. What is the league thinking? It's a bunch of guys like Reinsdorf's age that don't, they haven't adapted with the times. It was crazy. Like, I almost want you to watch it. It was that that line. bad. Ooh, like, like compared to NBA, the way it's like, yeah, where yeah. there's uh, the hockey, tension and everything. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like at least. Do you pretend. think it's just because there's l- there inherently the way baseball is set up, there's less on the line, sure, and there's sure. less likely that this is going to be like a guy changes your franchise. You can't you can't build fake tension. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, but you could give me good production. Yeah, of like like showing me what like is about to come it was not that i, I one thing that it was bad. i hate about major uh mlb net and and baseball pundits as a whole is i've noticed a lot of them don't do their homework on players at all it's like they they the camera hits record basically and they're reading off of like oh uh jackson holiday son of matt holiday like uh it's like tell me something that i can't read on a stat like Harold Reynolds is the worst at it. Harold Reynolds is so bad, I think, and that's a guy that should be like, you know, a baseball guy. I loved him back in the day. I, 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 I did to too. too. I used to love him, but he's just like now that w- everybody has access to information yeah. that everybody does, like everybody has in like reporters, you know. Yeah, but 2002, him and Peter Gam is baseball tonight didn't get What's much Peter better. Peter Gam is doing these days. Think, not is he alive? Is he alive? Yeah, he's, 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 Peter Gammons has to be fucking real old if he's alive. He had a stroke, I'm pretty sure, but uh, he, uh, I'll come out and say he's, it. He's, he's only 78. I would have put him a, in his 90s. He caught a bunch of the lib. Oh, yeah, I don't think he caught it. I think he he had it. Well, it's and it's rotted his brain out of his yeah, skull. Okay. <laughs> 
yeah he, got, it was like something about like the green it's like the green monster is so symbolic of the wall that we're putting on the southern border and it's like dude it's like, a fucking baseball stadium man like chill out dude. boston yeah <laughs> yeah uh do you like this guy though at all who eric freddy Feedy, he's been yeah. around for yeah. a minute. I saw the last time he was in the major leagues, he had an ERA of like over five. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he, he was a first rounder out of Louisville, I want to say. And it, here's another question I got you got his name up there? Yeah. Who in the fuck spells their name E R I C K? That's tough. <laughs> ah, I don't like what that. What kind of fucking asshole spells their name Eric with a K? It's like their parents couldn't decide, so he did both. Spelled just it both do ways. C, like yeah. a normal Eric. Or just K. I feel like yeah, you see K, a lot of K's. See a couple K's. Yeah. yeah. Even then, <laughs> what did this asshole do in in the past? He's what got a, a career ERA of five point four one. That doesn't. That part doesn't necessarily bother me. Um, he well, th he's thirty. Yeah. That bothers me. I mean, it do, it doesn't matter. He's just he's there to soak up. Innings. I'm surprised you're not more upset because this to me is just like oh, 15 million for this guy is not going to help at all. He fucking sucks, and then they cry poor. Like they they have a a laundry list of guys like that over the last seven years. Yeah, where yeah, it's yeah. like They cheap out instead of going to get somebody who can actually help right. you. Right. In, instead of instead of paying like a Bryce Harper 24 million a year, they'll go and they'll chunk together like Josh Harrison, a bunch of guys that like add up to 24 million, and they'll cut like. Come well, May or like, June, eighty percent of that money because the player hasn't performed. I mean, when that player could have been like anybody from your farm system putting up yeah, a two twenty right. batting average, dude, making six hundred k. Yeah, yeah, right, it, exactly. All it is is Chris Getz going up to going up to his dad and be like, "Hey, could we get fruit roll up? For, could we get uh, fruity pebbles?" And be like, "No, we're gonna get the fruit O's at the bottom. Yeah, the, gonna, the, the fruit rounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 no fruit loops for you. We're getting." We're gonna go lower. Like, oh, I'm but excited. like the, I I wish, and the, it, he doesn't speak to the media ever, but I he did a little bit. Someone was like, he was in front of microphones. Reinsdorf, he said that he owes it to White Sox fans to turn this thing around as fast as possible. There's a lot of fucking movement right now. The Yankees are about to get Juan Soto. The fuck like, there's ready made paths to get better players in Chicago. It's by paying them. Like you see how contracts are going right now. The, this Japanese pitcher is maybe going to cross the $300 million. That's what they're saying. Yeah. It's insane. He's not going to keep up with this ever. He's not going to keep up with the spending. No. It's an arms race of who can get these guys. I, and I think to your point, previously, you were like, I want the teams that spend money to win. That happened. And everyone's now like reacting because it's like everything is just copy everybody. So let's go out and try to buy the World Series. And I think teams are starting to do that this year where it's like you hear insane numbers for guys who are like completely unproven. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I mean, as great as Shohei is, we're talking about a guy who's going to have a second Tommy John before he's 30. Like that's right. I think it's his yeah. first, but I mean, well, he's had Tommy John already. He yeah. Has. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. So, oh, well. so like that's, and they're talking 500 million for him. And I know like, so, Maybe he never pitches again, and maybe it still doesn't matter. But it's still like you're giving that much money to a guy who has elbow problems. And the like, White Sox are one of two or three organizations to never spend a hundred million on a player, and uh, there's players going five x over that now. Maybe I saw Boris said that Bellinger. They're looking three hundred. That's crazy. That's uh, it's bad ball data. You want to talk some analytics? It ain't pretty. That's going to be a bad signing for someone. That's my prediction. I I, I can't remember if we've talked about for this, this year too, mm -hmm. because I know you've historically been not a Cody Bellinger guy. I I always said he sucked at baseball. Um, I mean, the, he objectively he, he, he won the MVP, but in the couple years before that, like, and obviously after that, he was fucking bad, bad, bad. We we've talked about him so much. I have a I have a baseball question for you. Yeah. Okay. Because. You always say like he, he's he's more lucky than good this past year. Do you think it's possible for a guy to have such good back control that even though if yeah, it, what's his face on uh, uh, the dude who was flirting with four hundred until like July on on Miami? Yeah, uh, like him, like he'll just find a barrel and he'll like guide the ball at fifty miles an hour over. But the I third feel like Bellinger head. does that. I he's a power guy, man. I wasn't watching the Cubs. In the I feel second like when half. he gets two strikes on him, he he, does, can, he, he reverts. Can do flip. Yeah, if, yeah. If that's if that's him, if he's finding ways to do that, but like he he did cut his strikeout rate with a ton. Like it was like he was swinging a bat with a hole in it. 
Yeah. His last year, year mm-hmm. and a half at the Dodgers. Um, but like he he wasn't shitting on the ball. Um he had a couple of incredibly bad years prior to the excellent year again. I don't know. I, I would be I if the Sox didn't touch him, I wouldn't give a shit. Yeah. I really would not give a shit. But um the re- everybody else, like they just don't have anybody good on the team. They have one player. One. I like that. Uh, Why not? Uh, I think they should trade him now. Might as well. That's what I'm They're saying. They're not going to, but you might as well. They should, though, because this, yeah, this sure. is when Fuck he has it. the yeah. most value. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Fuck it. I like that fucking Jedwin after Nightingale. That's really funny. Did, did you I'm see curious that? what you would think about that because I know you don't like both parties. I mean, it's not I, personal. I don't, I don't it's not care. personal with Jed. No, or yeah. Nightingale. I love Nightingale. Really? I mean, he's a complete doofus. Yeah, I like him for that. For yeah, sure. I like him because of that. Like, yeah. Baseball Twitter needs Bob Nightingale. It's, it wouldn't be the same without him. I don't. You don't, you don't respect him as a reporter, though. You just like him as a character. So. Yeah, he, that's he's a, exact. He's a. What do you think character. stern words exchange means? So, do you know why? Apparently, Shohei's camp floated that if there are any leaks of meetings with yes. teams, he will hold that against the team. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, Dave Roberts, Dodgers manager, and he's like, yeah, we're pre- – I guess he got completely chewed the fuck out by uh, Friedman, their GM, and and the ownership group of the Dodgers because he mm-hmm. blatantly – and uh, same thing with the Cubs, I guess, um, with Shohei. So I would Shohei's imagine a that's a weird what fucking it, guy. He is a weird guy. Yeah. But that's fine. I like that. Yeah. So Give that's the power what he to was, the players. So now the Cubs are fucked because of Bob. Well, no, nah, that's not necessarily it. <laughs> I, I don't. That's think not they're what fucked. happened. That's a separate story. Okay. The story is. That, I assume that's what it was. No, no, no. Nightingale just tweeted out of nowhere. He said it sounds like uh, the Cubs are out, or like okay. it's not like. It's, well, I saw that. It's believed that they're out, and then they're like, "Hey, we're, like, I think Jed ran up. He's like, hey, who the f- why the fuck are you saying we're out? We're not out. Like, yeah. why? Like, don't the report that we're out. That makes like that's bad for him. People okay. fucking call for his head. But yeah." And then he just started going after him. That's a, Bob Nightingale tweeted the day that Craig Council signed. He said, uh, he's going back to the Brewers. He's going to the Mets. And then instantly Next saw, day. Instantly yeah. went to the Cubs, yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. just Bobby being Bobby. Um, yeah, Bobby, yeah, he just does Bobby things here. Yeah. Yeah. I love reading his replies, too. If you ever in yeah, a little yeah. Eeyore mood, they'll break your name a little bit. Yeah. Do you have anything else on the Benetti thing? No, just uh, of course that's how they treat, you know, yeah. Their guy. Yeah. Um that make it it surprised me none. I like there are there are a faction of Sox fans that are like, dude, he's he's being like sour grapes coming to the media. He's got a new job, just forget about him. It's like fuck that dude. Like that they need going back to what I said earlier, they need to be buried over and over. But I and over. I and read over. the quotes I saw was like he was like calling off the dogs. He's like, I met with Brooks for 45 minutes like I never wanted to be in a place for 30 40 years like that's what I saw it as yeah but no he he was talking the the thing that I I was referencing was the food thing where he's told he's not allowed Uh, to yeah yeah. (laughs) but it's even if they did bury the hatchet so to speak I I I would imagine that's what Benetti is telling people just to move on and he's sick of talking about it but that's not how he actually feels. He's still saying, fuck these assholes. He's mm-hmm. a White Sox fan. He wants his team to be, have the best and be the best, and he knows because he has a brain that it's a dysfunctional loser organization, and he happened to be part of that. Um, not, and, and not part of the losing part. He had obviously nothing to do with that, but like he was part of uh, – he was a victim of the the stink, you know, uh, that that they just give off to – Anybody and everybody, especially their fans, especially their fans, especially their fans. Yeah. And then back to Otani real quick before we wrap up baseball. I I don't know. It seems like everyone, the, the, the hope is waning. I don't know how anyone could have any type of read. Right, like everything. I think seems that's like it's why so I up. the hope's waning. Like, is yeah. it, it, traditionally, like you hear, and we're little, also recording at three p.m. Central yeah. on Wednesday. So, like by now, he could have signed. But yeah. Um, but I feel like you won't. Yeah, and I just, I don't know. It just feels like there's normally leaks. Like you, like it, like the hot stove heats up, and little things, you know, leak out. This happens, that happens, and then, like the news breaks. Yeah. It feels like the longer it goes on, the less likely I feel like it, he comes to Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, and that, and there was a report that they're priced out of Yamamoto too. 
So the Cubs were after him at like they're thinking they were getting him for two hundred or two fifty. When it went to three hundred, they're like, all right, we're out. So I can see that. I can't see the Cubs getting completely shut out this off season though. That'd be that would uh, you guys would have permission to bitch about yeah your yeah like uh, after a council like I think it's like impossible. You're right, uh, like, but if that's their only move, like that's fucking insane. Not that Not yeah, great. if that's their only and adding eight wins, little aggressive number there. Um, but if that's their thinking, then a manager can come around and just like add a bunch of wins. Like you should, you should not have, he should be there to like keep the guys glued together, I don't, not to add wins or take, like he should just be there. I don't necessarily think that is their thinking. I think it's like they're, if they're not, whatever, if Otani's going to march to the beat of his own drum and he's going to sign the blank check that he's going to sign, then it's going to come to, you know, Bellinger. Mm -hmm. And if, if they're. They won't get priced out of Bellinger, but if they get to a point where they, they don't might. think he's worth it, yeah. And same thing with N Namamoto. Yamamoto, yeah. yeah. Yamamoto, like then I don't know. I don't. I don't know how to. Well, feel. and then they were they were they were linked to Soto, and now Soto sounds like he's a Yankee. He's yeah. like they're exchanging medicals now, so yeah. it's like done. They're, so, like, they're, they're linked out to on Matt hip. Chapman, who mm -hmm. I would like as a oh, corner. He, he's a fucking stud. Yeah, yeah. He's. A, I know he's, offensively. He he lost a little pop last year. He his power numbers I, were down last he's year. He's a stud. Yeah, he's great. He's great defensively. Mm -hmm. Like I would, I yes. would be very happy with Matt Chapman. You know, he's not, he's not the. Uh, it's not the sexy. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're not win yeah. place or show, but you're. Yeah. You got a strong horse. Well, I mean, they support. So this is what they've been saying that they're going to have payroll, you know, to add. But you know, they still lost some off of that. Um, you know, off the pit, they have to go to get a pitcher. I know they've been linked to Glasnow and all that, but like they, they got a lot of work to do. It feels yeah. like, and it does. I don't know. It feels like they might be, you know, like you're saying, like you're 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 not win place or show. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, how excited can you be about a team that was had a horrendous September, and that's without bringing back Bellinger. Yeah, you know. So we'll it's like, see. Like maybe they will pony up. And pay maybe they will, but it's. It feels like they're kind of on a night. There was there was optimism was through the roof, and now it feels like they're on a little bit of a knife's edge yeah. here too. Feels like maybe he got his is like he didn't expect it to go down this way. Yeah, like he, he, he expect. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, long way to go. There hasn't been like any big movement. No, nothing, just nothing just Soto. Happen. It sounds like it's happening like imminently, yeah. which would be pretty fucking big. Yeah, but um, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, Chicago Land Chevy dealer, Chicago Land. Your the local best. Chevy dealers want you to know that it's time to buy a new Chevy, and the time is now. Yeah, I mean, it, it. the time is now. So it's winter. you got to make sure your car is running right. And if you need a new car, just go to ChevyDriveChicago.com, plug in your zip code, dealership near you will pop up. That's what I've been doing. I went out to one in St. Charles. Uh, I'm going to do one of them on the North Shore here soon. I'm just looking around, just t testing things out. I'm getting ready to pull the trigger. It is like a, it's like a, a little nervy experience for me because I'm not – I don't know anything about cars, but everybody I've talked to with Chevy has been so great. Yeah. Well, the good thing is, is whether you're looking for a car for you or, you know, if you're looking to have a family soon, Chief, um, or, you know, cart the nephews around, uh, Chevy's got a great selection no, of SUVs <laughs> of all sizes <laughs> with sleek and comfortable interiors and top tier technology and safety features. Uh, check out the latest offers on the Chevy Equinox, Blazer, and Trax, and find your local dealer at ChevyDriveChicago.com today. It's that simple. Go check out the fleet. And uh, grab yourself a Chevy at ChevyDriveChicago.com. Um, there's no one in this room that thinks that Florida State shouldn't be in the playoff, right? Shouldn't? Yeah. I don't think they're one of the best four teams. I, I agree with that, but you're so – This is what I mean. What more can you do than Florida State? Yeah, you can't you, – you, and I know, like, we're – they. What do, you think the, what do you think the line would be if they were playing Ohio State with the, court, the current quarterback situation? If they're twelve and a half against Georgia, is right? It? Yeah. Six. I don't. I, don't I, I bet you'd be like ten. Seven and a half, maybe. I bet you'd be higher than that. I don't know. Their defense is really good. They got a good, they got a good defensive guy. And Ohio State's guy offense is not world beaters. My point is, if they're a heavy, heavy underdog against Georgia, they're like they're they're not one of the best four teams. But at the same time, I'm not sure that Texas is either. So if you know, so it's like I I really think there's a top two. Or Bama. I'm not sure if Bama is. I'm yeah, not but sure Texas if... is in by merit. All I think the yeah. top three are by merit. And I'm not shitting on Alabama. Like they're obviously a good team, but they unfortunately lost to Texas. They lost to Texas. So, yeah. but that didn't kill them. So they're in. Yeah, but it should have. 
It should it should have. I think you either need this it's is fucking Mr. insane. This is Mister. Oh, the regular season every week min- means something. True. I know. And Florida State wins every single I, game they they play, and it didn't mean anything. They're not going to I, the playoff. I agree. I think it's I I think it is bullshit. Okay, but I I don't think that they they tried to like have their cake and eat it too, where it's like we're we're doing the best four teams, well or you're doing like the best resume, mm-hmm. and they didn't really do either one of them, and so that's where it's like I. I think Georgia's better than Texas. I do too. Okay. Uh, but then it's like, and I think Alabama would beat Texas today. I think they're a much better team today than they were in week one or week two when they played back in September. So then it's like, you're, you're not really doing the best four teams because I do think Georgia is one of the best four teams. I don't know how you can argue to have them in. So it's just like, it's a Chinese finger trap. No matter which way you pull, you're, you're just, you're stuck forever. And the way it ended up just sucks. But I think Georgia's on the top four teams. I think Georgia. So you boot Texas for Georgia if it was your top four. Yeah, I think I think so. I or think, you boot Washington. No, I think Washington's. No, a, why? I think Washington's better. You think Washington's better than Georgia? I think Washington could beat Georgia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because that same thing. I was trying to mouse trap you. No, no, no. I think I think I think there's a clear top two. If there was ever a year to go back in time. You would have the Big Ten champ against the Pac-12 champ in the Rose Bowl for the national championship. It would have been perfect. Can't we? Don't, yeah, we don't have it. But that's so we get an extra weekend of good games. Yeah, and I hope they are. They're almost. They almost never are. But I hope that is true. I but this, I think this year it's it's Michigan's not going to blow out Bama. Yeah, probably I, not. And te- Texas, that should Washington won't blow out Texas either. They're not some like they're not going to put up like fifty points. I you know, I think Washington. I think there's blowout potential there. I What's think a Washington, blowout to you though? Like, there's been some 20, ugly points, fucking scores. 35-14. Right? Yeah, that's a shitty. Are game. you just glossing over the? You just miss, Michigan's that much of a slam dunk over Bama? I don't. I no, don't. Not either. at all. I said no, they're not going to blow. He said oh, it would okay, not okay, blow okay. them out. Yeah, I thought you said probably no. Game. I think I think Washington is so dangerous on the perimeters, where they, like they have the four wide receivers, they have second best wide receiver in the country, and they can just chuck it all over the place. And that softens up any defense, and I don't, I don't think Texas is going to be able to keep up with them. I don't know that anybody else will either. I think Washington might win the national championship now that they're fully healthy. They, I think people got soured on them. They had a few of those like bad weather outdoor Pacific Northwest games. What are you grinning at? Nothing. You think I'm going to jinx them? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm yeah. but I think, but I said that they would beat Oregon, and they did. So was that a jinx? Where, where is the jinx call on that one? Um, Damn it. Yeah. So I don't know. I think Washington's very good, but yeah, this this whole system fucking sucks. And there's no, I really do think that six teams is the right number for me as like a college Would football. Have been this year. No, I, but I, I've said that. I think I I think I've blogged that before too. Where it's like twelve twelve feels like too much to me. Six even eight. I, four to twelve was the most extreme jump ever. That was yeah, pretty wild. I mean, I'm not complaining. I mean, because they, they don't give a fuck about anything except for money anymore. No, so, no, yeah. like I feel bad for. The people involved. I, I I don't know how they're going to do that. What? Like you're gonna have to play three extra game, two extra games. If you if if you're a if you're a 12 seed, you're playing your 12 regular season games, a conference championship. Then you're gonna play wild card. So you're playing you're playing a 15 game schedule. That's crazy. Yeah. Into, That's what they into, play into February. That's what North Central does. Yeah, but it's it's more regional. You don't travel as much. You're what? That's not true. Only you don't have regionals. No, we'll go to California and Texas. They do. Yes. North Central does in the regular season. Not. Uh, they went to California. In the the regular Redlands. Season? Yeah, Los Angeles. Yeah. All right, stand corrected. They'll travel all, like the bigger programs, especially they go all over the country. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's fucked. I'm like it very. I'm like very down on college football again because it's like you know Notre Dame's playing Oregon State. That on paper. Should be that should be a pretty good game, but it's like well, both Oregon State's top two quarterbacks are transfer in the transfer portal. Notre Dame has four wide receivers uh, in the transfer portal. They also fired their coach. I think they're hiring a new wide receiver coach. Uh, so it's like no, it's like an it's like a scrimmage. It's like no, you know, no, none of those guys matter. None of the a lot of those guys aren't going to stay. A lot of the guys are in the portal. That's got to change it's next 1200, year, right? 1,200 people in the play, players in the portal this year. I don't what know if we, that's spread out. What are we doing? All four 
two division ones, division two, division three. It's but gotta, it's got to change next year, right? They got to put the portal after the bowl season. Yeah, I don't know. But like, if you're a kid, but if you know that you're going into the yeah, portal, what's the play. difference? I mean, so I'm not playing in the bowl game. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, but I think more people would play. They got to get like DraftKings involved. Yeah, more people would play. Mm-hmm. You think so? Yeah. I think kids, more kids would. Yeah. If 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 a kid was like, let's say he had not the top kids, probably not. Right. Let's say you have a kid who's like, I'm uh I'm getting recruited, and they are offering me three million dollars. Am I going to risk that to play in the fucking Outback Bowl? Of course not. Right. But so then that's it. you're talking about like Matt. But there's Matt, a thousand kids in there. You know how many of those thousand kids aren't getting a single cent of NIL money? Vast majority I, of them. I don't know how. I don't. You said Northwestern. What yeah, they yeah, all they all get like a base. They get like something. five seven yeah. thousand. That whatever it is. But I'm know, talking about like a guy a guy that would impact the game. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah. Impact the bowl game is guy is probably going to have a, a price tag it's associated with. Right. You get that quote from Matt Rule saying a good quarterback in transfer portal costs like you know one and a half to two million dollars. Yep. He's those those kids aren't playing any bowl games. No I matter weird, what. I weirdly think NIL might be the only thing that could save this. How so? Because if you're getting NIL money, they should make it part of this agreement that you're playing that bowl game and you're not sitting like i mean of course it's easy to like you don't, I don't know my ankle you, hurts. like you don't get it until after yeah, yeah. like that should be they don't thing. control that though like they the schools control it's they don't it's, know what they're doing yet i feel like no nobody it's a wild west right now but like it's it'll be sort of a third party attached to the school that controls the payments to the players uh-huh. but if like chicago land chevy dealers you, they like that's not funneled through the school. That's being paid directly to the player. They can't. The school can't be like, oh, Chevy, don't pay them until yeah. after the bowl yeah, game. Yeah, you yeah. know. Okay. Now, you got to be happy. I think I saw Northwestern and Michigan, the only two teams that didn't have an underclassman. Go fucking figure, right? And you, you'd think a, a, a school that just went through a ton of hazing and they're like abusive to their players and shit would have had a mass exodus. Oh, well, they got rid of that problem. Well, they got rid of that problem. You'd think that the <laughs> yeah. coach's son, they, who's they on the, the whole, roster, would yeah. have bolted too. He didn't. I actually met um, Pat Fitzgerald's son on Friday. At Pat the Fitzgerald game. Jr.? Uh, Jack Fitzgerald. Okay. Um, fucking monster of a human. Yeah, it's like six five, like just that's big, a massive human. Yeah, how was that game? It, insane. Yeah, it was so. F- it was the loudest. It was that in the Blackhawk game, the two loudest sporting events I've ever been to. Really, it was so fucking. I'd say it was like seventy percent Northwestern fans too. It was crazy. That's it awesome. was crazy. It's a. I honestly think it would be a, like I know the history of their basketball programs pathetic. Moving forward, I think they could be a legit, like, perennial top, like, right where they are right now. You stormed the court, did you not? Yeah. They started, uh, they, <laughs> the student section started a chant for me. Did they? Did they really? What yeah. did they say? They were chanting my name. Fuck White Sox Day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Wildcats they had They had me, I just kept to the back. I let the kids do their thing, but I wanted to uh, get the video. But uh, it was it was amazing. It was It was a lot of fun. And the mush didn't take effect that night yeah i it's mean been, it's been transferred over to me good job by you it really has i it's, said i said i wouldn't i didn't say they were going to be a final four team i said i wouldn't be surprised if they are it's crazy how, how collins it just i, don't I know, mean he was he, he was, was oh, dead man dead. walking yeah. he was on the green mile yeah he was dead man walking yeah. even that ad that fucking idiot he came out and <laughs> said uh he it was a very it was like a it was a very public like you have one year to fix this and he fixed it to his credit but like what kind of asshole lady comes out and says that publicly um a not a good one is what is that ad but um mm-hmm. but yeah northwestern that's nice three four months ago i would have told you they were dead as a doornail as a football program like completely dead go to the ivy leagues now everything's <laughs> looking like it's on an upward track looking up it's looking up i really think so good new stadiums coming Twenty twenty. What does that mean for 20. Northwestern in the new landscape? Like what? Like I'm very curious because like Northwestern has. I have been told by many parties that they can compete with anybody any any ILS, but they don't. They won't See, pay that for fucking the fucking sucks too though. They won't pay for the kids to uh, come there. They'll pay for the kids not to transfer. So no, but I mean like Notre what's, Dame, what's a good up, season for for Northwestern going forward? Going forward, uh, I mean because they're not going to be like a playoff team. Twelve. They did that two years ago, but now you have to think about who you're competing with in the regular season, though. That's true too. Yeah. Yeah. 
So I, I, I see Eddie chuckling over there. I don't know. Well, what's wrong with you? What it's, do you mean? They're like, it's that fucking sucks though. The way you said that was like the most upset. Person. I got the Eeyores. Yeah. I got the Eeyores. <laughs> got I got the Eeyores real bad this week. And then Nottingham Forest losing four nothing. They're gonna fire the coach. I'm kind of sad about that. And it's just uh, all my teams. Everything in my life just Shut sucks. Up. It's yeah, true. He had well, three championships. So did uh, you. I cherry picked off him. Yeah. yeah. Do we address the uh, game time ad? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What happened? What happened with this game time ad? Well, Do we so, have it? so Dave, uh, I haven't seen it. So Dave went to the Northwestern game, as he said, and it was courtesy of game time. And oftentimes, you guys will post a game time ad on your personal account, and you'll send it to me to post on Chicago. Yeah. And Dave didn't send it that night, and the next morning. He said, can you post this? And I go, oh, boy, we have nothing else to work with. You can't, like, go back to Northwestern and do it. I, I knew. I, so, okay. <laughs> so You I, guys use game time, too. You always feel like a douchebag. You put, oh, post I hate. It. Yeah, I, yeah. So it's, I mean, I love game time, but I don't yes. like. I feel like I, anytime I have to do a selfie video, I don't feel comfortable. I looked at Riley, my buddy Riley, who I was at the Northwestern game with, and He's, I looked at him like that was fucking horrible. Muting those notifications. I know how bad it looked. Of what course, you, you look. Well, I, well, I didn't even realize. So I, I, I don't I, even know what I said. I it was saw loud. the first. I was drinking. So, I needed to get it out. I was driving and I got a text from you. So I, I listened to it briefly. <laughs> Again, can't redo it. So I post it and then I start seeing the replies come in. Obviously, the people are talking about how intoxicated you are, but then they start saying. I'm looking on Google Maps right now, and I can't find tickets anywhere. And I go, what? And then I play it back. All right, let's hear it. All you would have had to do is go to Game Time uh, on the App Store, on Google Maps, whatever it is, and you can use uh, promo code STOOL to get $20 off your first order if you do that, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was, that, was that, funny. that, that right, helped I, my yards a little bit. I had no idea I said that until just <laughs> nice, now. Nice pause screen. <laughs> yeah. The fonts over here. You want these game time tickets? You can go get these game time Google tickets. Maps. <laughs> Google yeah. Maps. Google Maps. Like you're about to do a De Niro impression. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get it out. <laughs> and I the conversation. I, I I had a fun win. That's like not looking the, at the explosion after. Just muted oh, the conversation. Yeah. Oh no. I knew. I knew it was coming. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's gonna be. I'm gonna get ripped on for that mute. I don't know why. I they're done wrong. It's go on the concourse. You bang out the video. Go back in. Yeah. Just don't. You're say more Google comfortable maps. doing selfie videos than he and I are in general. I, I guess say. you yeah. are a little bit of a seasoned vet. Yeah. Do them every Sunday. I guess, yeah. Of course, like when you're in your seats or whatever, you could have like just walked to the concourse and like you know. Whatever. What do you think that, the concourse was doing? The con that was before the game. The, the only problem was, was that you said Google Maps. Yeah, 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 to be yeah, clear. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Game Time. Google Maps Google tickets on Google Maps. Speaking of which, are they an ad right here? <laughs> hey, you can't get anything on Google Maps. Besides, <laughs> I bet you can. What are you going to buy on Google Maps? I bet if you, you like. You drive if, it to a gas station. Like, look. Uh, Go on Google Maps. I'm here right now. Off. Like, it, So if you hover over a restaurant, it'll take you to the website. <laughs> like the salt you're not shed. Buying you're it on you're, yeah, you're Maps. adding three middlemen. Yeah. Game yeah. Time app. Best app found on Google Maps. Why do you? Yeah. Um, well, on that note, the solo stove's around. Dave, tell us a little bit about that. I mean, I gave up smoke just because of the solo stove, Ed. Just like Snoop. That's great. That's great. Tell them what a solo stove is. A solo stove is a fire pit. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Do people Smoke not know that? Well, I just like, I don't know. We've been reading about talking about yeah. Snoop Dogg. I want to give a little bit up more. Yeah, a it's a fire pit. It's, a, it's, like, it's a beautiful, it's like a stainless steel looking fire pit that is, a, it's a magic trick. Because there's plenty of fire, there's plenty of heat, there's no smoke, and that's why they got the dog father, Snoop, deal double G yeah. involved. Why are you laughing at that? It's one of the yeah. one of the few rappers Chief likes. I do. Yeah. I like Snoop. I like. I like. I like lots of rappers. I just. I was not. Not the win. greatest of all time. I don't think he is the greatest. Go on. Uh, so, like you said, Snoop. They got the Snoop stove. It's a limited edition bonfire pit. It's designed by Snoop himself. Each custom fire pit comes with a going smokeless bucket hat and a limited run of stickers. Uh, somebody's got to put one of these orders in before they run out. Uh, so run, don't walk, go to solostove.com to pick it up. The limited edition pit and join soup and going smokeless for good. A complimentary bucket hat? I yeah, might just nice. buy the stove for the bucket hat. Yeah, for real. No joke. I think I'm going to get my dad one one for Christmas. Uh -oh, there you go. There you go. That's a good idea. 
Look at that. It's a good idea, Lance. You can find them on Google Maps? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Yeah. Probably. Yep. <laughs> um, Where can you find them? Saltstove.com. There we go. Bears related. I, I mean, it was a nice week off. Now it's like the it realization. Was, yeah. we got to settle in for five more games. Listen, I'm just going to say this. People getting ants, and uh, I'm going to get called in the or I'm sure. I'm going to mm. get called a fucking asshole. The people getting that excited about being on the playoff graphic. Who who was? Was anyone in a genuine way? I don't. There are there are people that are like, oh, I, I saw a guy at the bar at the uh, the Barstool bar after. He's like, what do you think, man? Should we should we try to win now? Like, we're in the hunt. Stop. Like, we're 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 two games <laughs> out of a playoff spot. I was like, dude, we're still fourth in our division. Ed. You know what's gonna happen, right? They're gonna go three and two. They're gonna fuck their draft pick. They're not making no playoffs, of course. That's what's gonna happen. Well, listen, I know they're not gonna make the playoffs, but people buying it, everyone on Don't that do it. Everyone in the fucking face. conference is on there besides the Panthers and uh one other team. I forgot who the other team that wasn't on there. They're all on that graphic. Yeah. Cardinals. Cardinals, yeah. yeah. Cardinals are the other one. But that's they kind of that. Thir- they just won. They're only a game yes. behind the Bears. They beat the Steelers, who are yeah. They're how they have a winning record is beyond. Dude, me. I think like ninety percent of the NFL just fucking sucks this year. Yeah, because the the Patriots are booty cheeks. Giants, Giants, Jets. Everybody is so bad. Patriots are fucking ass. Yeah, the, that that he said six nothing really. against the Chargers last Make week. Is. Also, the Chargers are pretty ass. Yes. Yeah, and we got blown out. You know how Dan does the like things? It's just should be different levels of ass. <laughs> Until <laughs> you get to like the Niners. Category that's like ass. Does he? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, they're four and eight. The Lions this week. They almost beat the Lions. Lions. I think are, they're going to win this week. They're, the Lions at home. So you think they are going to? I think they're going to win this week. I think it's week, possible. Yes. Yeah, I, I think, think so it's possible. Too. I wouldn't. I, I have no feel. I wouldn't bet this game. If I, I don't okay. bet Bears games either, generally, unless if I really like them to win. But, uh, this but is I that, wouldn't touch this. My, my overarching point is that Dave's right. Like, they are going to – like, they could win this week. They could beat Joe Flacco next week. Then they have the Cardinals at home. They, they might be fucking favored they, against Flacco. They could win that one. Probably should win against the Cardinals. Mm-hmm. Falcons at home. That's another winnable one. And then Jordan loves looking. They're going to go 5-0, and oh, aren't they? <laughs> And not make the playoffs. <laughs> That's what I like. They're not going to go five and zero, oh, no. but three and two. They're going three and two. They may go on five though. Too. They ob- we definitely could go on. Have five. to hope and pray for that. Yeah. Hope and pray for that. I mean, dude, if we I can't it. do it in real time. I can't either. But it's so we're correct. Four and eight. They're four and so eight. So it'd be nine and eight if we won. Yes. And then it's like. If then I was basically right all along. <laughs> yeah, if you don't, <laughs> if you don't lose, <laughs> but that's what I mean. Like, if you don't well, lose the well, Detroit well, and the uh, what if Denver he only game? wound up a game off? That'd be crazy. That'd be, it's like yeah, but that Detroit you one low mark though. Yeah, yeah, you could you could old takes expose the people who are old takes exposing yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't do that, but yeah, but those are those down the stretch. It's like who would have thought you would have said the Bears have five winnable games. Now, if they had found a way to be six and six, which was right there for them, like you're saying, different games, the Lions yeah. game, like then Denver, you're in the graphic Denver. and you're looking at that schedule and it's like, holy fuck, like they might actually make the playoffs. But lucky for them, they were such a disaster out of the gates that it's seemingly impossible. Yeah. And, and, and that Broncos, if the Broncos won, <laughs> the Vikings, the first Vikings won where fields got hurt and the, uh, and the Lions, like those are three games that, like, those were a coin toss that all went against mm-hmm. them. And listen, we still have the Panthers chip. I get that. Like, yeah. We still got that hopeful number one pick. So it's like, hey, all right, if you get one and you get ten, like whatever. No, but Ed, one and five you sounds need to a lot hedge better against the stink that is the Chicago Bear, Chicago Bears by hey, getting. Preach to the choir. I'm saying I, I, I want to lose. I, I, I'm, I've been on that page. I'll be. You no, know it come especially in the last three games. I'll be rooting against them. Especially if Fields is like, who knows if he'll even like. What if it's Beijing? Like, it, if it's just some stupid bullshit. Especially if Fields doesn't like. I've already said he's done, but like, it's officially, officially official that it shit or get off the pot time. I expect Soldier to be rocking a little bit on Sunday, though. Why say that? Coming off Monday Night Football win, if bye they, week. If they score energized. first. Yeah, we. You know. Yeah. It's. Yeah, we're, we're getting into White Sox Davy bear weather at this point. That's true. You gonna? Go I like to go to the last Bears game of the year, the last home game, because the Lions could 
I mean, they they put up 21 points before the, the Saints could blink. Yeah. Their offense is so good. Mm-hmm. You know, so who, who really knows what's going to happen? But I don't know. It's really just hold the line five weeks left. We said last show. It's like hold your nose. That Eddie just and Dave are going to have a cook-off. If Eddie wins... Can he lather your face in Vaseline for the last Bears game? Yeah. That's right. the deal. He has to come with me, though. Or he could just be waiting outside the stadium with, you with, a, with a bottle of petroleum jelly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if, Eddie comes with me, if Eddie comes with me, I'll do that. Okay. Can he leave early like he normally does? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> no. He has to stay all four quarters. Unless it's... Unless it's like Even unless you both agree. Uh, both agree. Like, it's a complete blowout. But he's going to get colder... Than you because you're gonna have well, a Vaseline. He, he face. could put the Vaseline on. Oh, first quarter, Eddie's going to get a I hot think, dog and never I coming think you back. Guys should put Another, it on each other at the same time. Yeah, just, just like <laughs> gunk each other up and get all get all like. Can you imagine Ooh. people just looking at us? Another like, thing you want to do? This guy's Ed? afraid to do a selfie video of the seats, but he wants to lather me up. And I wasn't <laughs> afraid to do a selfie video. I busted it out and got it out or there. Vaseline. And then went and enjoyed my night. It was a great. Pl- thing, it was a great plug. Another for hack. Maps. It's not like you said ways. I could have uh, ways fucking blow. That play. That, I hope that company never advertises with us because I will not read that ad. Read. Um, I had a thought and Ed threw the ball and I chased it. Vaseline. Um, oh, another thing you want to make sure you put cardboard uh, under your feet. You don't yeah, want the concrete. That's a fact. Um, I said the garbage bag. I'll cut out the holes and sometimes I'll like stuff it with cotton, mm-hmm. just an extra layer. All this for a Bears game is crazy. <laughs> yeah, and then you get to a snow drift and you pop, pop that bottle of whiskey in the snow and then the case of beer in the snow and you're That's good. Nice. That's a fun time. What do you do, though, after you your hands are covered in Vaseline? You go wash them or you just like wipe them off? You on do the... that at home. Oh. And it's not like there's... You're, like, re-apply, like, you're not no, putting no, on no, sunscreen no. until you're you get put, to the beach. It's like you're putting on sunscreen. You're like rubbing it in and shit. What so SPF it's not is like, that Vaseline? Yeah, I, I want it to be more well, gooped on there. BSPF a million it protects the shit out of your face. You think so? I don't know From how wind. that stuff works. I don't know. I don't put Vaseline on my face. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go on. You don't put them on your lips? Vaseline? Yeah. I do. No. I, I'll, I'll a, use like chapstick. It's a much it's better all, way than it's, chapstick. It's, Why? I don't know. I'm, I just swear by it. Hmm. It's just a. I mean, trial Vaseline and, and chapstick, I'm pretty sure, like the exact same thing. I'm sure they Maybe. are, but I'm telling you, if you before you go to bed, just Vaseline those lips, we'll wake up and you'll be like. Those lips will be fresh as a daisy. All right. I'll use Vaseline if I don't have chapstick. It works the okay. same. Uh, anything Blackhawks? They're, they're, they're the worst team in the league. They're like one of the worst. They're somehow worse than they were last year. So uh, there should be. The Blackhawks are. The White Sox are. The Bulls are like 5-11. and 11. They're 7-14. and 14. Yeah. Uh, But, yeah, they, they I went to the game on it's Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday night with – or Tuesday night with, with Big T and um, – it was like obvious like the preds aren't good either but it was just like they don't just piss away the puck the way that the hawks do like they're 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 becoming a very difficult team to watch and it's just they they probably have they probably have two guys for sure at forward that i think will be part of the team going forward bedard and kershev everyone else kind of fucking blows including reichel like reichel got reichel was healthy scratched um, he's he was on the fourth line against Nashville. That was a first round pick. That was like the last Stan Bowman pick. Uh, but he stinks. He's been bad, and yeah. So they're they're. I'm having no fun watching them. I would thought I'd have fun watching them be bad. Their Bedard had a nice shootout goal. It was sick. It was sick. I saw it, was but it, it was like it was like it was automatic. It was just like I'm doing this and it's gonna go in. Yeah. And uh, so, like, that was nice. That was. You know. I saw that. I consumed that in like twelve seconds on yeah. Twitter, though. I yeah, didn't need to watch the whole three hour. Hockey yeah, yeah. Too. And I, I went to the game. Yeah, you know, and you buy yeah. the beers and you do the whole, whatever. So they're bad. They're bad. And then it's you know, Kane's on the wings, and you know, the this the organization makes it hard to be a fan. But I'm still here. Do you still want to have that debate on Hawks versus Sox on who's more just? demonic organization no because i i think i think the the hawks will get it figured out he's tapping out no oh, okay. i don't have the energy at the yours but i think the hawks the hawks are if you want to go the whole history like they're they're like brothers in arms like they hawks, hawks didn't even put the games on tv like they're like at least you the white Sox were always on tv 
That's true. Yeah. Thank you, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. They're like I. I'm not enjoying. I'm not enjoying watching them. The Patrick Kane's quotes about how I wanted to come back pissed me off because they drew that whole. So like they just get caught in their own lies all the time. Where it's like, oh, we tried to do right by Patrick Kane, train to the team he wanted to go to the Rangers. Like he he wanted to go. It's like I said last year. He never wanted to go. He said this past week. Yeah, I was like hoping to get a call from them. Uh, after they got the number one pick, but they don't, they didn't reach out. And I, I had heard from another person that he checked in with them. I was going to ask why, yeah. why not? No, he did. He checked in with them. So built that beautiful house up in Winneka or whatever. Still, never sold it. Still has it. Yeah. So he wants to make his family here. So we'll see. I mean, it's it's just you know, and I'm starting to feel bad for Bedard too because it's like he has no help whatsoever. So. Team fucking stinks. I think the coach kind of stinks too. Oh, yeah. that's a new Ooh, development. Yeah. I, think Richardson, new. I think Richardson kind of stinks. They're so like they the power play is a problem, and it's like that should be like kind of a like so there's some obvious adjustments to make there that they that they don't make, and then the way like they're so sloppy with the puck. I think they play kind of soft. Like they don't have any attitude, and they're just kind of a dog shit boring piss the puck away like it'd be lose four like they lost four to three to nashville i don't care but they look so ugly doing it that it's like the effort the effort's not there especially from guys like reichel like reichel just doesn't like he looks like a dog to me so far the effort's not there the good habits aren't there you know and it's just you're kind of waiting around for bedard to do something special but it's hard to do it when you're one on five and he he's had a little bit of a he didn't look great against Nashville either. He was he was coughing the puck up, pissing it away, maybe trying to do too much a little bit too. So I don't know. They're I'm I'm down on them. I'm down on them too. And uh but you know, we this is we signed up for this. It's gonna be a long time. Maybe a shortstop like Dave always wanted. Probably grown to a third base corner. That's fine. He's yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Center field. He's a good athlete. He's just a bitch. Yeah. Can't have them. Won't have them. Yep. I'm done with bitches. I hate bitches. <laughs> I Put hate it on them. a quote card. I hate them. He's done I, with bitches. I, and I'm talking bitches in the athlete sense. I'm sick and tired of them. Get some guys with guts in this city. How many guys with guts play in this city? Not just guts, but guts and gumption. I like that I word. Would, uh, gumption's a fantastic word. Do you have gumption? Not today. I don't have much gumption, <laughs> ever. Sometimes I've got gumption. I got gumption here and there. I like to think I'd have gumption if I like went to war or something. But I'm save. I'm like storing mine up. I got I got gumption in reserves for when you, I need okay, to explode it on somebody. What about you, Ed? Are you gumped? Have yeah, you gumped got, it anything lately? Yeah, a ton of gumption. No one. No uh, one has any gumption in uh, uh, bulls. Who's any good? On, uh, throw them away. All right, you got Bedard on the Hawks. You got one player on the Sox who. Even though he's a fucking freak of nature physically, and he was awesome last year, I don't know if he has all the gumption. He doesn't. He doesn't seem like an automatic gumption guy. I, they had to I don't know that he is. They had to embarrass him at the beginning of the year to get some gumption out of Justin him. Justin Steele's got I, some gumption. I don't give a flying. Yeah, he's got some gumption. Steele's got gumption. Th- that's a guy that's got gumption. He's got gumption. Mm-hmm. I I don't. I like Wicks too. The glasses. Mm-hmm. Can you can you wear glasses and have gumption? Yeah, you can. Okay. I'll say Ian right. Happ has some gumption. He had a rough year. He's he's a but he's I but like he's one of those guys where like I think he'll have a good year next year. Okay, you know. Yeah, I he's like one of those Hap. weird. Yeah, yeah, he's an up and down yeah. guy, so he's Andrew due for an Swanson. up. So Anson's got gumption. Gumption. Is that it? I, I'm talking about guys like DJ. I, I'm not talking about yeah. DJ's got some. He's full of gumption. He's <laughs> yeah, a ball yeah. of gumption. He's gumption. He. I, he's never, I'm not he's talking about necessarily the backwards. best players, though. That's no. not what I'm talking about. Alex I'm talking Caruso about, has gumption. Yeah, yeah. That, like yeah. someone like yeah. that. Someone like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're talking about guys like you. Abilities. Yeah, the guys like you. I didn't get the most out of my abilities. Oh yeah. Well, it's your body type's fault. Yeah. Yeah. We read it. The, <laughs> the yeah. paper. Now you the, uh, can't control that. Yeah. I had a long swing. I didn't know that until I was a junior in college. Mm-hmm. Like Chris Bryant. Kinda. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Damn. All right, then. I think we could wrap this uh, pity party up. This is episode, I don't know, 300 and something, 500 and something, where we just talk about how bad our teams are again. So, um, be nice to have one good team. There's a reason why we're guessing words off the top. So, uh, we'll uh, leave it at that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's add up very quickly the amount of playoff games since this has been a 2019 Nickelodeon game. 
double doink. That's two for the Bears. Um, oh, and two. Three, f- seven for the White Sox. It counts, counts series. Yeah. Okay. Bulls won. So Bucks. two. Bulls won. Yeah. Cubs 2020, 2019. Mm-hmm. Did, no. They did in the pandemic. Oh, that pandemic, I don't count that. Yeah, he counted with though. But no, no, no advancements in the playoffs at all. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that the twenty. Like, I'm not counting the bubble for the Blackhawks. I forgot about that. Edmonton series was fun though. The best of five, no crowd, fucking bullshit. <laughs> Edmonton I, series. God was damn fun. it! It was like I had fun. So that was early advancement. Yeah, but like. <sighs> all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, Can you right. cut it off? Jesus, yeah. Let's get out of here. This guy's gonna. Someone's gonna be driving on the fucking two nineties. Throw it off a cliff. Listen, you, you want to count the bubble? Have yeah. have something? Yeah, dude. Do you want to go play wiffle ball? We beat, we beat Leon Dryside. No, I want to go play Call of Duty. Connor McDavid. The new new Call of Duty dropped today. I am doing a stream with Rudy tonight, amongst others. I am. I will say, I am now the best Call of Duty player in the office. So, if you would like to see that firsthand. Come join our uh, stream that we will be taking part in. Dave, hate the to next say it to you, it's going to be over by this point. So <laughs> no, we'll be we'll be going for the next we'll be going hard for the next few weeks. All right. So tonight stream, it. yes. Tomorrow stream will be different, but yeah. All right. Thanks everybody for listening. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time.